Hi guys, it's Hans. Welcome to week 92 of the Journal on Monday series. I'm starting by applying some modeling paste on my spread just to have some texture um, on the paper to work on. And as a lot of you requested um, that I would work with the new products I received from Lindy Stem Gang, um, that's what I will be doing today. And it's just um, exploration of how they work together, what it is you can do with them. So it's a very simple spread. It's far from being my favorite, but I had great fun um, just playing with those products and um, checking how they work together and how they react. So the first product I'm using is the flat shot. And when you buy these, you just have the powder in the jar. You can mix them with hot water or with any medium you want to, which is pretty fun. So you can make um, paint of the texture that you want. So I mixed them with two thirds of clear gesso and one third of acrylic glazing liquid from Golden. So I'm applying two shades of the flat shots here. And I'm playing around until I have the shadings and the blending that I want to have. Um, once in a while drying the layers before applying a new layer on top of it. <clears throat> now I know that I want to take uh, some of the paint away afterwards, so I have to make sure that I have enough paint on my paper um, before I can go on with the next step that I want to try. I'm not rinsing my brush in between. I don't want to have a wet paint brush, so I just wipe it on um, the side. And then making sure that everything is completely dry before I go in with a baby wipe. And it did react um, like I would expect it to do, as it is a mixture of um, the glazing liquid and the clear gesso and you can take it back off so you can have you can create a pretty distressed look which you cannot see on the video um, that was another request for me to load up my videos in a larger size so today is the first try and i have to say i'm not really happy with it so i have to check with my husband <laughs> how to change the settings to have a better quality now with my um, dirty baby wipe I'm taking some more of the darker flat shot and just adding some shading on the spread of my paper just dabbing it around Again, once it's dry, I'm going in with Starbust, which is one of the four uh, sprays from Lindy Stem Gang. And I'm just adding some splatters. I know how they spray, I've, I've already sprayed with them. I don't want to alter the color of my paper, so I'm just adding some splatters and dipping the excess ink away doing um, the edges with that same starburst and as it's pretty liquid I can create some drippage as well. 
So instead of going with distressed ink on the edges of my spread, I'm doing it with a darker ink and a paintbrush. Going all the way around. And as long as I have my paintbrush and ink on it, I can keep going and I'm adding some uh, shading on the modeling paste. It's very light, very soft, it's really just a shading. To add some more interest to my background, I'm adding another color in flat shot again. I'm, I use the same mixture of uh, clear gesso and acrylic glazing because I really like how they work together. Um, and then blending it using um, a piece of uh, paper towel. So I'm not going back in with a, a wet baby wipe, just a dry piece of uh, paper towel. This is magical powder um, that I diluted in a spray bottle. So this is just a highly pigmented powder. This is another one of the magical colors and this time I'm going to blend it with tar gel. Um, I want to see how it will react if I create some kind of a glaze. So I'm thoroughly mixing up the two products, the powder and the tar gel. And to make it easier for me to apply it on my spread, I add some water to it. I don't want the effect of the tar gel, of the um, uninterrupted stream of color. I want um, a heavy glaze. And then again using a paintbrush I'm applying it on the edges and then I'm spraying some water to slightly move it around. Now in I didn't um, add enough water in my jar um, to make it move. It only moved just a tiny bit. So I added some more water in my little jar for the second uh, try. And here you see it's already more fluid than on the first side. But I really liked how it looked and I really like the effects uh, now that it's dry on the paper. So this is definitely something that I will be using again. And I liked it so much that I decided to do all four sides. Uh, my spread. And as I did have some over, some left over, I put it in a jar with a lid on it so that I can keep it for a couple of days. While it's drying, I'm preparing a little heart. This is a stamp fatigue stamp that I'm colorizing using uh, Copic sketch markers. And then just trimming that one tiny little heart that I want to use. I also took out some rusted metal uh, because the wording that I want to add will, um, well, is mentioning rust, so I wanted to have some rust on my spread. Adding some splatters of um, the flat Fabio, just to break down the white of the paper and to make it work with the background. And then stamping with my um, splattered mug stamp boutique stamp with VersaFine ink adding some distress ink on the edges and I don't know yet where I want to put the wording on my paper um, and I know that I will have to change the frames because if I put them like this I won't be able to close my book anymore so I'll have to figure out how I want to put them. I had no idea where I was going with this spread when I started so it really was going with the first idea that um, came to mind and the frames remind me of a video that I posted on my um, 
um, Facebook, I will repost it on my blog, where David Lynch talk about ideas. Where do ideas come from? And I really liked his um, thought about it, about being at a puzzle in the next room door that was handed to you piece by piece. So I, want to have, I wanted to have a little reminder of that video in my art channel and how ideas can come to you piece by piece if you let them. Um, some people um, don't agree with the fact that this is art journaling. Well, everything I put in my art journal is a reminder of something, an event or um, something I I've been reading or something that I saw and those are all events that I want to have a memory from in my journal so instead of writing it down I put elements that will remind me of those events so these frames remind me about that um, the thoughts that I had after seeing that video from David Lynch so I placed my little heart and I um, secured all the little frames in place using Tim Holtz fasteners and I'm adding some glimmer glaze on the heart just to make it pop a bit. Now I know I want to add some text on the other spread and I also know what word I want to add. But I'm not sure how or when, well not when, but how I want to place it there. So I'm just testing, I'm just um, mixing up some inks, um, using my uh, alphabet by Stampatique. And if I like what I see, I will make it into something permanent. So yes, this word has a lot of meaning for me uh, at the moment. And as I like the placement, I decide to make it into something permanent. So I'm re-stamping my word on a piece of paper and giving the same treatment to that piece of paper as I gave to the rest of my wording. So first going in with um, the flat Fabio, adding some splatters, stamping, just doing the exact same thing. This is really one of my favorite stamps that I've designed. I think I use it on everything that I make. And then just gluing it over my testing. If I didn't like the testing, I just would have taken a bit of um, blending solution for alcohol ink and wiped it away. And then just gluing my text in place. I'm adding some shading around um, all the little pieces of paper using a charcoal pencil and a blending stump. And I'm only adding a very, very light um, layer of the charcoal. I don't want to have a big black um, frame around it, just blending it in. Adding my date stamp and then adding some more stamping using my um, design cube. Now I'm shadow stamping, so I'm first stamping on another piece of paper and then I'm going in on my art channel and even then I'm taking a piece of paper towel to blend it even more in. I just want it to be something very soft. Adding some more splatters um, with the same magical that I used in the beginning and I'm protecting my word. I don't want to have more splatters on that one. Now, I was a bit frustrated because I couldn't add any sewing on this one because of the metal. So I decided to add some sewing with metal thread. So I'm just making some holes and then taking my metal thread and just taking it a couple of times through the paper. 
Well, that's it for today, actually. Like I said, nothing very fancy, just um, discovering those two main new products and getting to know them. Don't forget to hit the like button if you liked today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Both are very much appreciated. Um, have a happy week, everyone, and see you back next time. Ta-da!